No! It wasn't that radio. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I just, I always really liked her. Um, just one second. Turn, turn this off. Yeah, I always thought it was really cool that, um, I thought it was very kind of strange as well because I remember when I was about 10, 11 and um, I remember having a dream very very strange now but <laughs> um, I remember having a dream about me seeing with um, yeah me seeing with Julia Andrews I know you're probably like what are you talking about like Jeez, you know, you're kind of over that. I mean, I'm 30, you know. But when I was a kid, I was just like, oh, she's brilliant. Like, she can sing, she can act, you know. And those are not things that you normally find. People that are actors cannot always sing very well. She is an amazing singer. Like, um... Christina Aguilera, yeah, she might like to be able to say, yeah, I can sing three octaves, but in all fairness, I haven't seen Christina Aguilera in a lot of movies. I mean, I've seen uh, Julia Andrews in lots. I've seen her in Sound Music. I've seen her in Vic Victor vs. Victor Victoria. Uh, that was also brilliant. Um, I've seen her in The Princess Diaries too. I think I have seen her in, um, I've seen her on, on Oprah, talking to Oprah, you know, because I'm such a big fan of Julia Andrews and I also like Oprah as well. Um, I just, you know, really connect with them probably because of their love of music and their love of acting. Um, Oprah Winfrey, I have, I think she can sing, but I have never heard an album or anything with her singing in it, but, you know, some people can act and sing. I mean, like my other favourite person ever, um, Whitney Houston, yeah, she was an amazing singer. When I was eight, and I hear. I heard, what was it, I heard her song from The Bodyguard, I got that CD, I have all of her CDs, you know, I'm such a big fan, um, I have a lot of, a lot of different people's music, I mean, my other first, um, applaud would be to Phil Collins, because, yeah, he was feckin' brilliant. I watched his, my first concert when I was 12 with my sister who was, you know, 16, so she could bring me in to watch him. Like, my mother was not going to let a 12 year old daughter of hers into a concert on her own, you know. And anyway, I got in because my sister actually had gotten me in um, as well because she knew that I loved his music. I think it was probably from birth, I always liked his music. I just, I think it was because my parents had always listened to his music, so um, I think I listened to his music before I was born. Um, I think I was, I think I listened to his music ever since I was conceived, so I understandably fell in love with the guy and his ability with not just making up music, right? But he also is able to play, yeah, all of those different instruments. Like, he can play the drums, he can play the guitar, he can play acoustic guitar, he can play electric guitar even. Um, I think, yeah, he can play, I think, the recorder. Um, yeah, he can play the cello, I heard as well. And, he, yeah, his songs are pretty cool. They've been on, you know, Tarzan and things as well, like some of the songs he's actually made up for Disney films. Like he didn't he didn't make 
any of them like for the Lion King for example one but the ones that he made for Tarzan I thought were really really good and um, I'm trying to think I don't think he has done any others in like Tarzan or I don't think he has done any others in for example the Lion King or anything but yeah he's pretty good um I'm trying to think um other people I liked in music would have to be people that you know go about making up their own music I really like those people like Ollie Moores has done that like fair enough he's taken he and a load of other people have actually taken up some music from other people that were around years and years and years and years ago um, but they have taken that music and they've changed it maybe even slightly and it's come out really well really nicely so so I have to say that's pretty cool um, I think I don't have a lot of respect for people that think oh no we'll just sing other people's songs and we'll show people that we can really really sing because you know what that gets really really old you want to go about making your own music first I can say this as I started writing my music when I was eight and my first song got into the 2FM finals when I was 17 um yeah and I think that's pretty damn good. I mean, I wasn't expecting to get into the Dreadland Finals, but when I when I did, I was like, "Wow, oh, cool, dirty stuff." And um, otherwise, I just tell people out there that are actually writing music just to keep writing music. And um, I've actually gone and uh, copied my three main pieces of music I have done besides my first um, A New World in 2FM competition I've actually put that on YouTube i put Undying Love on YouTube as well that my uncle helped me record um, he did the guitars and he did the he pressed something on the keyboard for drums um, but like yeah that was because of me having the musical ability um it's been in my mother's family three generations ago yeah i know it's like whoa three generations that's a lot yeah i'll tell you it's a lot like i'm not saying my my grandmother was very good with music my grandmother could play absolutely lots of different types of music and she didn't need to actually have you know um um, a writing of music on the piano she could just play songs from memory there you go some people can do that and then some people can't I would be somebody that couldn't do that I'd probably find it hard like you know oh, stressful her brother was an amazing person for being able to play music he actually was able to look at anything like the first time and he'd be able to play it in two seconds like the whole thing I mean I'm talking Beethoven you know you think Beethoven that's really hard yeah it is really hard but you could play it no problem and he played loads of different types of music I mean he could play classical pop music Ian he would be able to do anything that was sitting in front of him on the piano in notes because he just had a he had a knack for being able to play music like that brilliant I thought um, yeah then my grandmother's parents were conductors of of the uh, choir in Dolphins Barn uh, there's a church there and they were actually her mother was the choir teacher and her dad was the organist and I was just 
wow, that's pretty cool. They can teach that. And she was like, oh, this is just a normal thing. So, that, that's about it anyway. I hope you enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.